Over the past few months, we've reported on the problems plaguing our state's most sacred resource in an ongoing series called Florida's Dirty Water. And now one team effort is launching a campaign aimed at getting results for the only coral reef system in the entire continental United States. Joining us now, Dr. Robert Broombaugh, senior marine scientist in the Florida chapter at the Nature Conservancy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's, it's a real pleasure to be here. Happy Halloween. Oh, Thank happy you. Halloween to <laughs> yeah. you as well. And tell us about the Respect Our Reef project. The Respect Our Reefs campaign is uh, being sponsored by the Nature Conservancy and the Florida Reef Resilience Program. It's a, it's a coalition of lots of different partners that are trying to educate people about simple things that they can do to respect the reef when they're at the beach or fishing on the reef or scuba diving and snorkeling on the reef. And, and coral reefs are not just out there just to be out there. They play a vital role in, in the whole ecosystem in the water. Can you kind of give us a breakdown of why coral reefs are so important? Yeah, coral reefs matter a lot to us here in Florida. They're a $7 billion asset to our state. They support tourism, they support the fishing industry here in Florida. It's not just nice to have, it's really important for our economy. And you said that we're, we could be on the verge of zombie reefs. Yeah, um, just being on, on Halloween, I had to sort of mention that that's what we're trying to avoid. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that we can, and there's simple things that people can do, and that's part of our Respect Our Reef campaign um, that you can find out online at the Nature Conservancy. Break it down for us. Yeah, well, so one of the first things that you can do as a boater, if you're going to fish or scuba dive or snorkel on a reef, is put your anchor down in the right place. And there's mm -hmm. literally an app for that. The state of Florida has a really handy oh, wow. app for your phone. So they can tell you where to put your anchor down. The second thing to do is if you're snorkeling or scuba diving, look but don't touch. Mm -hmm. um, and that's part of respecting the reef because the corals are living animals. There's mm -hmm. millions of them that literally build their little homes right next to each other and they're, they're pretty fragile. So uh, looking but not touching. Mm -hmm. A third thing that you can do even from the beach is using the right sunscreen. Uh, turns out, we didn't know this until very recently, but there's compounds in a lot of common sunscreens that are very toxic to corals. So using sunscreens that don't have some of these scary sounding chemicals like oxybenzone is actually something you can do right from the beach, and it also helps the reef. It, it's so crazy to think just whatever you put on can eventually affect coral reefs. So, I mean, you're talking little steps here that can make a huge difference. Right. With millions and millions of people visiting the reefs and visiting the yes. beaches near the reefs mm -hmm. each year, it, it, everything that anybody can do really matters. Do you think a lot of people are surprised that there are steps that you can take, even if you're not a boater or a diver? I mean, it seems like it's something we can all be contributing to. Yeah, I think, I think so. Um, and, and it's um, many people may be laying on a beach uh, here yeah. in Florida and not realize that just a short swim away is actually North America's only coral reef. And it goes 300 miles along Florida's coast. So it's something really precious and it's something everybody can contribute to, uh, to preserving. And looking at the video, I mean, the video is just captivating mm -hmm. and stunning. Mm -hmm. Do you think if more people are exposed and see video like this, they'll be a little more inclined to want to help out? I hope so. It's an amazing uh, part of Florida. And it, yes. um, it really sort of defines, especially in South Florida, it defines a lot of the culture. And um, it's just a, a marvelous thing that we have right on our doorstep. So we have the third largest reef in the world. And like you said, a lot of people aren't aware, but there are ways we can get involved as far as even estate planning. You can, you know, help out and, and give to the Conservancy. What are some of the other ways you can get involved? You can. Um, so, indeed, the Nature Conservancy um, uh, benefits from uh, members here in Florida and, and throughout the world. Um, you can also help us uh, directly with this campaign. We have a hashtag, Respect Our Reef. Um, that you start to see on social media and we would really we're recruiting people who use the reef who visit reefs Either to fish or to scuba dive or even if you're just laying on the beach and you like the fact that there's a reef nearby Help us spread the word on these simple things that you can do Well, thank you so much for being here and for bringing light to to the beauty not only on the surface But below the surface here in Florida. Thanks very much for having me. Thank you. Thank